Hello and welcome. In this video, we will walk through a detailed example of using the superposition theorem to solve an AC circuit problem. We'll break down every single step, from the basic theory to the complex number calculations, making it easy for anyone to follow along. Our goal is to find the voltage, labeled as V, in the network shown in the diagram. First, let's look at the original circuit. On the left, we have an independent current source providing 10 at an angle of 0 degrees amps. On the right, we have an independent AC voltage source providing 50 at an angle of 90 degrees volts. In the middle, we have a vertical branch with a 3 ohm resistor in series with an inductor that has an impedance of J4 ohms. In parallel with that branch, we have a capacitor with an impedance of negative J4 ohms. The voltage V is the voltage across these parallel branches. The superposition theorem states that in any linear circuit with multiple independent sources, the total response, in this case, the voltage V, is the sum of the individual responses caused by each independent source acting alone. To analyze each source by itself, we must turn off all other independent sources. Here's how we do that. To turn off a voltage source, we replace it with a short circuit, which is just a wire with zero resistance. To turn off a current source, we replace it with an open circuit, meaning we create a break in the path so no current can flow. Before we start, let's simplify the circuit a little. The 3 ohm resistor and the inductor with impedance J4 ohms are in series. We can combine them into a single complex impedance by adding them together. So, that branch has a total impedance of 3 plus J4 ohms. Now, let's convert our impedances from rectangular form to polar form, as this will make multiplication and division much easier later on. The impedance, 3 plus J4, ohms in rectangular form can be converted to polar form. The magnitude is the square root of, 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is the square root of, 9 plus 16, or the square root of 25, which is 5. The angle is the inverse tangent of, 4 divided by 3, which is 53.13 degrees. So, 3 plus J4, ohms is equal to 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees ohms. The capacitor's impedance is negative J4 ohms. In polar form, the magnitude is 4, and the angle for a negative imaginary number is negative 90 degrees. So, negative J4 ohms is equal to 4 at an angle of negative 90 degrees ohms. Our simplified circuit now has the current source, the voltage source, and two parallel impedances, 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees ohms, and 4 at an angle of negative 90 degrees ohms. Now, let's apply the superposition theorem. We'll break the problem into two parts. Part 1, consider the 10 amp current source only. First, we'll find the voltage V due to the current source alone. To do this, we must turn off the voltage source. We replace the 50 volt source with a short circuit. In this new circuit, we have the 10 amp current source connected to our two impedances, which are now in parallel with each other. The voltage across this parallel combination is what we'll call V prime. To find V prime, we first need to find the total equivalent impedance of the two parallel branches. The formula for two parallel impedances, Z1 and Z2, is Z1 times Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. So, our equivalent impedance is for at an angle of negative 90 degrees, multiplied by 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees, all divided by the sum of, for at an angle of negative 90 degrees, and, 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees. Let's calculate the numerator first. When multiplying complex numbers in polar form, we multiply their magnitudes and add their angles. Magnitude, 4 times 5 equals 20. Angle, negative 90 degrees plus 53.13 degrees equals negative 36.87 degrees. So, the numerator is 20 at an angle of negative 36.87 degrees. Now for the denominator. To add complex numbers, it's easiest to convert them back to rectangular form. For at an angle of negative 90 degrees is negative J4. 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees is 3 plus J4. The sum is negative J4 plus 3 plus J4. The negative J4 and positive J4 cancel out leaving us with just 3. So, the equivalent impedance is, 20 at an angle of negative 36.87 degrees, divided by 3. To divide, 
we divide the magnitudes and subtract the angles. The angle of the number 3 is 0 degrees. Magnitude, 20 divided by 3 is 6.66. Angle, negative 36.87 minus 0 is negative 36.87 degrees. The image uses a slightly rounded value of negative 36.86 degrees, so we will use that for consistency. The equivalent impedance is 6.66 at an angle of negative 36.86 degrees ohms. Now we can find V prime using Ohm's law, voltage equals current times impedance, V equals I times Z. V prime equals 10 at an angle of 0 degrees, times 6.66 at an angle of negative 36.86 degrees. We multiply the magnitudes, 10 times 6.66 equals 66.6. We add the angles, 0 plus negative 36.86 equals negative 36.86 degrees. So, V prime is 66.6 at an angle of negative 36.86 degrees volts. This is the contribution from the current source. Part 2, consider the 50 volt voltage source only. Next, we'll find the voltage V due to the voltage source alone. We call this V double prime. To do this, we turn off the current source. We replace the 10 amp source with an open circuit. In this new circuit, the 50 volt source is connected in series with our two impedances, 4 at an angle of negative 90 degrees ohms, and 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees ohms. The voltage V double prime is the voltage across the impedance of 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees ohms. To find this voltage, we can use the voltage division rule. The rule states that the voltage across a specific impedance in a series circuit is the total voltage multiplied by the ratio of that specific impedance to the total series impedance. So, V double prime equals 50 at an angle of 90 degrees, multiplied by the fraction 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees, divided by the sum of 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees, and 4 at an angle of negative 90 degrees. We already calculated the sum in the denominator in part 1. It is simply 3. Now let's calculate the numerator of the main expression. We need to multiply 50 at an angle of 90 degrees by 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees. Multiply the magnitudes, 50 times 5 equals 250. Add the angles, 90 degrees plus 53.13 degrees equals 143.13 degrees. The numerator is 250 at an angle of 143.13 degrees. Now, we divide this by the denominator, which is 3. V double prime equals 250 at an angle of 143.13 degrees, divided by 3. Divide the magnitudes, 250 divided by 3 is 83.33. The angle remains 143.13 degrees. So, V double prime is 83.33 at an angle of 143.13 degrees volts. This is the contribution from the voltage source. Part 3, Combine the Results The final step in the superposition theorem is to add the individual responses together. The total voltage V is the sum of V prime and V double prime. V equals 66.6 at an angle of negative 36.86 degrees, plus 83.33 at an angle of 143.13 degrees. To add these two complex numbers, we must first convert them from polar form back to rectangular form. Let's convert V prime. The real part is 66.6 times the cosine of negative 36.86 degrees, which is approximately 53.3. The imaginary part is 66.6 times the sine of negative 36.86 degrees which is approximately negative J39.9. So, V prime is roughly 53.3 minus J39.9. Now let's convert V double prime. The real part is 83.33 times the cosine of 143.13 degrees, which is approximately negative 66.67. The imaginary part is 83.33 times the sine of 143.13 degrees, which is approximately J50. So, V double prime is roughly negative 66.67 plus J50. Now, we add the rectangular forms. V equals 53.3 minus J39.9 plus negative 66.67 plus J50. Add the real parts, 
53.3 minus 66.67 equals negative 13.37. Add the imaginary parts, negative 39.9 plus 50 equals 10.1. So, V in rectangular form is negative 13.37 plus J 10.1. Finally, we convert this result back to polar form to get our final answer. The magnitude is the square root of negative 13.37 squared plus 10.1 squared, which is approximately the square root of 178.75 plus 102.01, which is the square root of 280.76, giving us approximately 16.75. The image shows 16.73, which is a result of using more precise numbers throughout the calculation. The angle is the inverse tangent of 10.1 divided by negative 13.37, since the real part is negative and the imaginary part is positive, the angle is in the second quadrant. The calculation gives us an angle of approximately 143.09 degrees. So, the final voltage V is 16.73 at an angle of 143.09 degrees volts. And that's our final answer. By using the superposition theorem, we were able to break a complex problem into two simpler ones, solve each one individually and then combine the results to find the solution. Thank you for watching.